world. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a quick unboxing of the Arcade 1UP TMNT one player countercade, which I recently picked up on Marketplace. Later on in the video, I'll be swapping out the stock buttons for some nicer LED ones. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. This cab comes with two games, the original TMNT Arcade and Turtles in Time. As you can see, this one comes with a nice artwork from the original cabinet. The measurements are 16 inches tall, 11 and 9 16 inches long, and 9 and 9 16 inches wide. In the box, you get the countercade, the power adapter, and the instruction manual. Just wanted to mention that this cabinet does not have any online features. The power adapter is 5 volts, 2 amps. You get a basic owner's manual and the warranty information. The one player countercade does not have a light up marquee, but it does have a nice 8 inch LCD screen. Here's a better look at the side art. Now let's plug it in and do a quick demo. As previously mentioned, you only get two games with this, the TMNT Arcade and the Turtles in Time. I have to say that the joystick on this cab feels pretty good. However, the same can't be said about the buttons. The emulation also looks to be pretty good. Time to take a look inside. This cab comes with a non-Android PCB and a single downward firing speaker. Arcade 1UP has used an octagonal restrictor for the joystick. Let's install the LED buttons and the bat top. You're going to need three 5 volt LED buttons, the wiring harness, and the bat top. You're also going to need a USB cable. Cut the USB cable to expose the internal wiring. Solder the black and red wires from the USB cable to the black and red wires of the wiring harness. And finally, cut off the white and green wires that were not used. Now remove the stock buttons and replace them with the LED buttons. I recommend using a small screwdriver to help you disconnect the wires. Reconnect the wires to the micro switches. Repeat the steps for the other two buttons.
Now it's time to wire up the LEDs. Connect the black daisy chained wires to the negative terminals. Connect the red daisy chained wires to the positive terminals. Now remove the ball top and replace it with the bat top. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now put everything back together. You're going to need an OTG cable to power the LEDs. Plug the OTG cable into the micro USB port of the PCB. Now plug the male end of the USB cable into the female end of the OTG cable. We are basically done at this point. We just put the back on and power it up. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I recently purchased this cab through Facebook Marketplace for $100 Canadian. So far I'm pleased with the quality but I must admit that the retail price is quite high. Therefore I would only recommend getting it if you happen to see it on sale. Thanks for watching.